Danellon High School. This is Mr. Aiden, and this is Chemical Reactions for Week 2. This week we're going to be taking a look at uh, two chemical reactions, one of them being a solution of calcium chloride is added to a solution of sodium phosphate. So since we have two solutions, we know we have a precipitation reaction. Now, we just have to find our spectator ions. If we take a look, the only spectator ion that jumps out at us is sodium. Sodium is a spectator, which means that chloride will be a spectator as well. Let's take a look at our positive cation, which would be calcium, and calcium has a plus two charge. Phosphate is PO4. We've got to know those polyatomic anions, and he has a charge of negative three. When they come together, they're going to form a precipitate of calcium phosphate, or Ca3. PO4 2 and that will be my solid my precipitate. Now we have to go back and balance our atoms and our charges and so since we have three calciums at the end we need three calciums at the beginning. Since we have two phosphates at the end we need two phosphates at the beginning and our charges therefore are canceled out. That's our first reaction. Our second reaction will be Solutions of potassium carbonate and zinc acetate are mixed together. And so again, what do we want to find is our spectator ions. Potassium is an alkali metal ion, so that will be a spectator, as well as acetate will be a spectator as well. So we're going to put our positive cation, which will be zinc, and zinc has a plus two charge, always has a plus two charge. Carbonate is CO3, and carbonate has a negative two charge. Since the cation has a positive two charge and the negative anion has a negative two charge, it's going to come together to form zinc carbonate, ZnCO3, and that will be our solid. Since we have one zinc at the beginning, one zinc at the end, one carbonate at the beginning, one carbonate at the end, and our charges cancel out, we're totally done our reaction. So that's week two chemical reactions. Uh, tune back in for week three in just a little bit.